to welcome everyone today we are going to discuss an important uh, clinical lesion common clinical lesion one of the commonest uh, salivary gland malignancies that is mucoepidermoid carcinoma so let's capture all the high yield uh, points mucoepidermoid carcinoma is uh, almost accounting for 15% of all the salivary gland tumor roughly and uh, it is one regarded as the most common primary malignant uh, salivary gland tumor 60 to 70% are located in parotid gland. So this is generally located in parotid gland, but it may be seen in other minor salivary glands as well. And many of the studies have revealed uh, 11, 19 uh, tra balanced translocations. In many of the cases, it has been uh, incorporated as, as an additional finding. Grossly, it can grow up to 8 cm in diameter. So from a small 1 cm lesion to up to 8 cm in diameter cases have been reported. Generally, there is a lack of uh, well-defined capsule and uh, infiltration is seen at, uh, at area. So the, you will see infiltration, local infiltration, margin will be a bit infiltrative. And there are cut sections that clearly uh, demarcates the nature of the tumor. There are mucin-containing cystic areas being clearly demarcated in uh, many of the cases. And microscopically, if you evaluate uh, cords, sheets, or cyst-like areas are seen and there is a mixture of three cells, squamous uh, epithelial cells, there is a pure mucus cells containing mucin, vacuolated uh, cytoplasm, or there could be uh, squamous epithelial cells with some features of mucus cells. So these are called as intermediate cells or so-called hybrid cells. So they are also known as hybrid cells. So the hy uh, hybrid cells have both the features and mucopidermod class uh, Carcinomas are classified into low, intermediate or high grade. There are various criteria for that. And many of the criteria take uh, necrosis, degree of uh, uh, differentiation and in local invasion. All these factors are into, uh, taken into account and collective score is being given to classify into low grade, intermediate grade or high grade mucoepidermoid carcinomas. As you can see in the pic over here, there is a squamous epithelial cells. There are some uh, vacuolated cells also containing mucin and here you can see the mucin containing cells are very well appreciated by mucic armine stain um, mucus staining stain is, which identifies uh, the mucin as uh, pinkish red color so these are being identified over here the treatment includes uh, wide surgical excision uh, with a uh, with a normal margin of around the tumor is being taken so it varies from a conservative excision to a complete excision uh, can be done. It uh, varies with the staging of uh, uh, the tumor. Generally, a wide surgical excision is being uh, preferred. Adjuvant uh, chemo radiation may be given in advanced stages uh, where there is a where it's presenting with uh, much of invasion and also there uh, there is ne need of adjuvant chemo radiation in those kind of cases. So let's have a quick recap of uh, what we learned today. Common primary malignant salivary gland tumor is mucoepidermoid carcinoma, consisting of three cells, mucus cells, squamous cells, and hybrid cells, and treated with surgical uh, resection and adjuvant chemo radiation given on higher stage cases. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and follow in our different groups. And please stay tuned for the next video. See you in the next video. Thank you.